In this video, I'm going to show you how you can back up a WordPress website. You can do this very easily with a free plugin. So what you need to do is go ahead and go to your website and then head over to the dashboard. Once you're on the dashboard, you need to go to plugins, then hover over it and then go to add new plugin. From here, we can search in the top right for Updraft. Now Updraft is a backup plugin. We can use it for free. So go to Updraft plus you can see here it's got 3 million active installations. We can go and install that. And once it's installed, we can then activate it. So go ahead and click activate. And once you've got that plugin installed, it will be in your plugins section. So click on plugins. And here you see updraft. You can go ahead and then head into their settings. Now, once you're in the settings, there are some simple things you can do. The most simplest thing is you can back up your website right now. So if you click back up now, it will back up. Now, before you do that, you need to go to settings and choose where you want your website to be backed up to. So I'm going to choose here Google Drive. We can then get Google Drive to create a folder and then you can sign in with Google Drive. So I'm going to sign in with my Google Drive account here. If you don't want to use Google Drive, by the way, you can use all of these Dropbox as well. Any online storage, you can do whatever you like here. I just like to use Google Drive. OK, so once you've got that connected and you've got that all set up, as you can see here, we've connected it to Google Drive. We can now go ahead and click back up now and it will back up the website and click back up now and it will start to back up the website. Now that's how you can manually back up. If you want to do this automatically so you don't have to manually do this every time, go to settings and then it will say files backup schedule. If you change that to weekly, it will do a backup weekly, obviously. You can also change how many backups are saved. So by default, two backups will be saved. So the most recent two will be saved. If you want to change this to four, you'll have a whole month's worth of backups. I would also change this to four as well. Then make sure you go ahead and save your changes and your website's going to automatically back up to Google Drive or wherever you've told it to back up to. If you want to restore a backup, if you've messed up, you need to go back to settings, go back to your plugin, your updraft plugin, then go to backup slash restore. Then you can scroll down, you'll see your existing backups. You can then click restore and restore from a backup. So I hope that quick video was helpful. Let me know in the comments if you've got any questions.